So I wanted to recommend some books that you can look into if you're going into Germanic uh, myths and beings, or Scandinavian and Germanic. Uh, one I got here is Hildur, Queen of the Elves and Other Icelandic Legends. And I really like this one. This is one I talked about in my last video. Elves, Whites, and Trolls. And that's how you write his name. Since <laughs> I can't pronounce it. Um, I'm, and I'm sure there's other books as well, but these are the only ones I have other than uh, like Grimm's Fairy Tales and uh, Mother Goose Fairy Tales and everything. And you can find a lot of old stories sort of things and the old um, little moral things and beliefs in those stories. Because a lot of them are old, but then have, they've been um, translated different ways or they've changed over time uh, from being different oral stories and changing it regionally as well. So, But there's still something to look into. I know when I was reading um, Goddess of the North, she got a lot of her information. Uh, not a lot of her information, but she got some information. She had to, to find the Goddess of the North, the primordial goddess. She looked toward into um, rhymes and poems and little stories, little fairy and folk tales to try and find the goddess in that, uh, the goddess of the North. So in this video, I'm going to talk about whites, in particular land whites. Uh, I'm going to see whites or water whites, maybe in a different video. Um, but whites, I, I compared them kind of to the seed, or however you pronounce it, S-I-D-H-E, of the uh, Celtic lands, um, or the Celtic uh, mythologies sort of thing. Um, they're like the original inhabitants of different areas of the, um, I would like to say of Greenland. I mean, <laughs> the whites were the original inhabitants of Greenland. They were already there before other Scandinavian people came into Greenland. So they're like the sea where they say there's original people. Um, they're not always portrayed as um, being kind to humans, basically because in Greenland, the, um, the landscape and geography is so kind of like, most of the time they can only live on the coast, I guess, that's what I'd read, because more inland is so like wild and perilous to live there because there's so many different sorts of dangers. So that's why they attribute the land whites there to be more of a wild nature. And they think that's why or they, the story show, that's why um, they kind of weren't very friendly towards humans, I guess. Um, land whites can be also connected to the Alfar and the Desir, so the, um, the Alfs and the Edises. <laughs> and I think the Desir are, uh, there's like a, the Desir is supposed to be um, like your family um, spirit guide sort of saying sort of way sometimes they see it as like a dead ancestor or an original ancestor system watching you or something that's just connected to your family that watches over them but the way they they seem described is that it's like sort of a spirit not an actual physical being but it might have once have been that could be long now um that's what i've read so do your own research always do your own research and you can get inspired by something i say but do your own research because i'm just telling you reiterating what i've read and you can read something else or believe something else but the good thing about uh, the land whites, they, some of them did work with humans, or um, they were known to work with humans. The thing is, you can't scare them or um, anger them in any way, because then you're going to get a load of trouble. Say, when they would come into port, they had to take the head off of the um, front of the ship, so it wouldn't scare the land whites. Before they could build anything, release land or anything sort of that nature, they had to get the permission of the land whites, basically. They have to lurk, work with them, or else everything's going to go wrong for them. If you piss off a land white, basically, you're screwed. <laughs> So I see that sort of like as working with fairies again, because that's what the original question was, is there's anything such a, of um, Germanic, Norse and Germanic uh, fairies or folk creatures uh, that are related to that. Um, so I see it kind of like that, like if you start working with fairies or a house fairy or something, um, a lot of times I'd say about giving it offerings sort of thing, or like giving it food to appease it, sort of like, like that sort of thing. And that's the same thing with the land whites, you can work with them and they'll work with you, but um, you can't scare them or anger them when you have to appease them, supposedly. Um, I kind of connect land whites with uh, the genus loci, sort of, in a sense, to the local spirits of a place. Um, even though a lot of times I talk to people about the local spirits, they see them more as like a, uh, a ball of energy, sort of thing, or a collection of energy, instead of a physical being, so to speak. Whites also have a lot to teach us. Or in myth, they've had a lot to teach people, and then um, even I know with sea whites, they've or there's one tale of a fisherman or a sailor, sort of fisherman sailor, that um, kept a sea white captive because it wouldn't tell him any of its lore, so to speak. 
and um, they're talking about going to different sacred places and you bring food there to eat yourself and also to give to the land whites and um, <laughs> that makes me think of um, how uh, um, some stories of you going and making sure you look where you're going pee or to the restroom when you're outside because sometimes um, they've said that somebody's like a guy that I'm to tree and has taken a leak there and he didn't look what he was doing and he kind of went on a different um, an elf or a land white or however you want to because it shows up in both them um, uh, Celtic and other sort of um, mythologies um, he didn't look where he was going and he either would go to the restroom on the uh, elf itself or the land or whatever you want to call it because uh, I'm sort of connecting them all right now or uh, it's a place of where it, uh, it's residence sort of thing kind of and then afterwards it's cursed so um, bring offerings in case you piss them off that way too and please look where you're going to the restroom and um, that's my short little video on land whites um, they cause really nip on different things and they're connected to a lot of different um, beings as well uh, and later on they'll blend stories of the mixed land whites and trolls and other things too so um, read your folklore and get to know